Unless you're living under a rock, you've probably heard this already. This is the .95 teaser trailer. And as some of you have already guessed, this is Torpedo Bay or the Weapons Factory. This is something we'll talk about a little bit more. It's pretty exciting to, to witness what is coming, but when is it coming? That is the question. So this is the new teaser trailer for a trailer that's going to be released any day now. In fact, we thought it would be sometime before Christmas. And as we can tell, it will be this next Friday. And don't miss the event that's happening on December 13th, which is Wednesday, two days from today, where the streamers will get to uh, test it out and we'll get to watch an event. Now, we're definitely getting the pickup trucks. They are going to be added in 0.95. But there's no other vehicles beyond that being added. No boats and no car painting, that's for sure. If you've been waiting to make that truck your own with your own color paint, yeah, that's going to have to wait till uh, point one or maybe beyond that. We don't know at this time. But it'd be pretty great once we do get it, won't it be? Look at this. Look how great that looks. So really where the focus is is really optimization and puppet AI. That's the key focus to 0.95 updates. You know, puppets are going to be able to open up doors. They're going to vault through open windows. Doors will be, you know, they're going to be open by the puppets. And sure, you'll think, let me close them. No, because they're going to be on a cooldown after they get opened and you won't be able to close them immediately. So it's going to be pretty scary. They didn't confirm if locks would be preventing uh, the the opening of doors, but uh, at this point, I'm pretty like pretty sure it's going to be likely that if you put a lock on the door, they're not going to be able to open it. I thought they were going to be crushing through the door, but that's not the case either. Now, the puppet hordes are going to be affected by multiple variables, uh, including location, number of players, and even the noise. So, of course, these settings are going to be made available to server admins so that we can tweak them to make them, you know, our own and to kind of make the server fit what it is that we're trying to do. So that's kind of a good news. I just hope it's not delayed to another patch later on. So flamethrowers are going to be a real thing. But the upcoming flamethrower will not be damaging any of the base elements. This is something that's going to be tweaked later on in the future. In fact, they are doing more balanced base building, according to what the recent Q&A on Raykit's uh, stream covered. And they said that no mats are being returned when destroying a base element. They also said that there is more base elements being planned for the future. So this is uh, something good. You know, we're going to be seeing that. But uh, definitely we're going to be getting this uh, beautiful flamethrower. It seems to be a lot of fun. Now we should also be seeing this tutorial system that's going to be put in for people that are just starting out. I think this is a great thing. But for most of us that have been playing a while, we probably won't even use this. But it's, it's good for it to be there. I mean, it's, it's great for new players. Now, the crafting system is something that they're going to be reworking, or at least in this expansion that's coming up, or this release, uh, it's going to be implemented. And we don't know what it's going to include. I mean, we're seeing some examples here on the screen, but the highly sought after one click to remove or take out all nails out of a box is still being considered for something at a later time. So that's, it's kind of a letdown because I really was looking forward to that. Now, one of the things I did talk about was map expansions, and it won't be happening until they move to Unreal Engine 5, which will more likely not be until they actually uh, release a, you know, 1.0 full release. And it's probably going to be in the form of a DLC or something along that lines. Uh, they've also talked about that they're going to remove the map at a, a future time where you'll have to find it in game. And, you know, some of us are actually looking forward to that because that will be quite interesting. I mean, that's a, a little bit of a quest, if you say. So what won't we be getting? Well, these guys right here are not coming out right now. Uh, nowhere near anytime soon. Uh, this is definitely for full release. This is the Tech 1 officers or, I guess, just units. They're very scary. Now, as far as this part of the expansion trailer that we just saw, this teaser trailer... This is being Torpedo Bay or the Weapons Factory. This is also not something that's going to be implemented at this time, which is really weird that they'll be showing it because this isn't happening until closer to the full release. Now, I know they've talked about this BCU removal, but I'm not sure if that's happening right now or not. 
And there seems to be a lot more that's going to take place as to why this is something that's being put into the game. So we don't know yet. I mean, they've been really good at showing these storyboards that they've been working on. And it's really exciting because it kind of shows that they're working on missions or quests. And there's more to the story than just, hey, go out and find some stuff, loot it, make a base and get it raided. So that's pretty good. I'm looking forward to the stuff that they're implementing with these storyboards. So there's still a lot that's going to change in this game or that's going to be implemented before full release or by then. Uh, so beyond this update, the game is going to really focus on survival aspects. You know, food will be scarce and you won't be able to drink from lakes or rivers without boiling the water or using charcoal pills. And obviously before full release, there's going to be another metabolism update. This one's going to include actual broken bones and catching a cold. We'll also be able to drag or carry a teammate or a random body, but that's still being worked on. So it's not really here or there yet. Uh, there's going to be something along the lines of taming and breeding animals that will be implemented in the future and with the additional uh, more dangerous animals or what we'll call predators. Now, one last thing to keep in mind, fame system will become important as we'll be able to use this as a bounty system to hunt other players with higher fame. So this is going to be really exciting. Don't forget to watch your favorite scum streamer on December 13th, which is Wednesday, two days from today, for the special community event to showcase 0.95 release. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for some more scum videos. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.